if your network is a mile wide and an inch deep, it'll never be very powerful. You need both a wide and a deep network. You have to have some relationships that really go deep. And so you want to know as much about that person as possible. You really want to, you know, find out about their family, find out about what their interests are, get to know them a little bit better. I think the absolute master yeah, at this... I was going to say Harvey McKay. It's got to be yeah, Harvey McKay. That's right. He is just an absolute master. And he'll talk to you. And the first time I spoke to him, I didn't know he was doing this. But as I'm talking to him, he must have been taking notes. Because the second time I had a conversation with him, he started up with, so how, how are your kids? you got three, right? That's, what's Ashley doing now? And what's, what's uh, Cassie doing now? And how's Trey doing? Is he about ready to go to college? And I'm like... Wow, huh? you know, how did he remember all of that? But the more I spoke to him, the more I realized he must have taken notes. Mm -hmm. Now, when I speak to him, he'll do it. I know what he's doing. You know, he, he taught at a, at a conference as, as to what he does. I know what he's doing, and I love it. I'm still impressed. Because it takes work. You know, it's not easy to do, uh, to keep up on that. So he, he clearly has a database. And so when he makes a phone call or receives a phone call, clearly, clearly he's pulling that up right. and he's like continuing the discussion. And he's continually adding and updating That's the information, right. your pet's names and your children's name, and right. your birthday and the anniversary of your company starting up and all these sorts of, tons of information. And that's going deep. Yeah. That's one way of going deep. Are there others? Yeah. But I think that's a great way. And we live in this soundbite society mm -hmm. where, you know, yeah, good to see you again. Uh, let me jump right into business without getting to know the other person very much. And one of the things I found is that when you really get to know somebody, amazing things happen. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I did what I developed this, what's called the GAINS exchange. It stands for Goals, Accomplishments, Interests, Networks, and Skills. And we tested it to see would this work, and you actually had to fill it out. These are my goals, these are my accomplishments. And we gave it to two guys. We gave it to a whole lot of people, but there were two guys who were like, this is weenie, we don't want to fill this out. This is, you know, this is just silly. And so they filled it out, they did it, because we said, we want to test it. If it doesn't work, then great, tell us. Well, in this conversation, sharing their gains, their goals, accomplishments, interests, network skills, they found out they were both soccer coaches for their son's soccer teams. Oh, all, my, all of a sudden, these guys are like best friends. They're talking about soccer. They're, they're sharing you know, plays with each other. They even ended up going and scouting for one another. One would scout the competition for the other. And guess what happened? They had, they had known each other for a year, never did business with each other. Within three months, they're passing referrals to each other. And it was because they found out they were both soccer coaches. Mm -hmm. And that game made a connection with right. them. And that connection built trust, and that trust turned into business. And that's where McKay is just a master of taking that concept and applying it. Right, absolutely. And, you know, I would love to see some stories, because um, some of my favorite stories are ones where people, they learn a lot about each other on a business level. What do you do for a living? What is your business like? What are you looking for? All these things. And then you find out about something really unique, like their right. hobby. Right. Or one place in the world they love to travel to. Right. And that, that can be useful information, too, because really, maybe you really didn't care about what they do for business, but that hobby that they do, right. that's something that you can really sort of connect with and uh, not only create a personal connection, but maybe actually do some business around that. Absolutely, and you can you definitely can make a connection with somebody. Uh, I have a business associate who um, she's always wanted to go to Greece, and she was you know she had this connection with somebody, but you know what made the connection really strong was that this person went out and bought her two simple things as a thank you for something she did. One was a calendar with two, uh, of Greece, you know beautiful places in Greece to go to, and the other was a, a table book on Greece. Boom. Th those two things, they you were know, like best friends. It was like, this was so thoughtful of you. And of course, the connection deepened over something as simple as recognizing that she, that was a goal of hers and supporting that goal by giving a visualization for her mm -hmm. in a couple of different ways meant a lot to her. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's what the knowing your context is really all about. Yeah, that's terrific. So some, some great stories about What's the unique thing you found out about somebody? And then what what happened as a result? What, exactly. That's the key is, you yeah. know, what's something you've discovered and how did you apply it in a in a positive way and then what what was the result? Yeah. That would be great.